Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So, had Battlefield today, wanted to go over some reports, uh, basically analyze how we did. Kind of looked at them a little bit, but not too in detail. So, first off, we played WLP. We lost their server 444. I tried to find them in the Shalons rankings, but I couldn't. So, I don't know if they changed their name or what. But uh, anyways, uh, we put up 127K and we lost. I was really happy with the result. Uh, you know, my alliance isn't a world beater. You know, we're not uh, finishing in top five of Shalons, anything like that. But we finally started to play correct. We started to rally, that sort of stuff. We do have some new players. Uh, these two guys right here. So one of them is 10 billion, not eligible to play yet this round. So should help out next round uh, or next, you know, BOG, that sort of stuff. Uh, our, we played really good. Our building team, I kind of made it. Uh, I took over Battlefield finally. I kind of just wasn't doing it, kind of just letting people play and see, and it wasn't working. So I took over the sign up, and what I did, I signed up uh, 12, I believe, like smaller players to play a building. Like 12, meaning like full ghost small players some of them are like one billion size could full ghost i let them go in right away and then the uh, the eight or nine of us who were rally team hung behind and were to enter all at the same time when we were all there rather than entering and getting picked off but the building guys could you know go in and be safe anyways Obviously, one of our guys went in right away, and then we had to enter anyways. So that didn't work, but we did enter pretty well. And now I'm going to look at the reports that I have from it. So we're looking here at the 21st, and we rallied. The one thing, actually, before I look at it, the one thing that I will say that I didn't like was uh, voice call is only me and one other guy right now. So I have to do this. Archers. Three. Two, one, it's slow, right? And I have to convince them to go on battlefield chat. So we all have all different languages, different time zones. I'm trying to get them to do it. Uh, I guess we'll see what happened. One thing I really did like about these guys, WLP, was they stood and traded with us. They didn't do any solo shots on like our 2B guys. So I didn't do them in return. I saw they had plenty of people who were like, one to three bill. I didn't send a single solo. I just said, you know what? If they're not going to do it against us, I don't want them to do it. So let's just rally. And they stood there and traded. And our guys worked on teleporting away. So this was uh, one of the first ones we landed. So, you know, we're, get, we're throwing about 25 billion. I'm pretty happy with that. And hopefully we could start to inch towards 30 billion. So buffs, we don't have to look at them too much. You guys can see the buffs are pretty good. But uh, what I wanted to see was, so defender, so only one rain. And the rains were, look like range troops, kind of a mixture, but uh, range. And then here, this was just a regular keep and I believe there it was not a mass T1 amount. Yeah, you could see only 80 million. So I guess they're working towards it. But what I really want to see is this. So that means this guy, Bao, was the first guy in, right? I, I want to see the order that people are coming in. And then just kind of look at what they're doing with their troops. So this, is, this guy's in All-Star Finals. So he obviously is going to know what he's doing. And I don't want to analyze too much, but... Uh, Basically, just scroll down quickly and make sure that they are using range. This guy is uh, also an all-star. And then this guy is a new player to the Alliance, but I have lots of hope for him. But uh, looking at his march here, uh, he's only sending range and siege. So I'm going to have to talk to him and let him know that even if you just send 10 troops of every other type, because maybe you think your rally size is too small, but... You got to get them in, right? Uh, obviously, for a rally, it isn't quite as important, but it's still important. But solo attacks, you're going to get killed when you don't do that. So let's look at this one. This time, Runge was first in, and then this guy was third, second again. So this guy dropped down, and cash and carry. This is another 7-bill player. Some of the people had to... Uh, so if we look at this one, we won this one. We landed on him nice and clean and got the finishing kill. Did it with horse. Uh, 
Uh, some of the people we couldn't, you know, I could probably get like 32 million in each rally, but we're not because this is the first time I told them like, yo, like pour it away. You got to move. Uh, like, don't just sit there and ask for reinforcements. Teleport until we don't have teleports. So this was a good one, 1.5. So this is one of the people that I could have soloed if I wanted to, right? But I didn't want to. I wanted to see how we did rallying. So it's nice to see this guy bow. Is uh, He's been top three. or He got second, third, and then fourth, I think, on the other one. And then JP and uh, Hooligo. It's just nice to see different names in all of them. Right, so you do see that different people are joining. So this was a siege, I think. Yeah, so siege, we took 1.9 billion and only gave up 1.4. So gotta be pretty happy about that. And yeah, our siege just outclassed the other guy completely. And so the other all-star guy is near the front, but Aladdin, he wasn't in any of the earlier ones. So good to see a new name. And now Bao comes in at the finishing side and what were the reins on this so just i guess the guy just hit reinforce kind of like some people just hit attack and then where are we here so uh, this is a new one right here so this is a 2.1 and nothing too special about this but bow again right near the top nice and looks like we kind of so Runge wasn't in this one, neither was Cash and Carry, and uh, looks like we, uh, you know, just rotating people who are in. So it looks like we're getting a steady seven, and then, so I'd set, they'd set, and then our guys would have to port away. Uh, one thing that I would say is that I did try and send ground and horse uh, early, because I just didn't want our guys to be sitting home and getting their horse killed. So here's another siege, and we gave up 1.6 and a half and we took 2.1 off the person so i'm pretty happy with those siege results uh obviously their siege defensive stats aren't too great but uh i'm guessing that uh this guy has a lot of flats and that impacts his sieges he probably isn't used to getting sieged so we actually got eight people in the rally here so that was good and this is a newcomer in it let's see what she ended up sending here looks like she just pressed attack doesn't look like she sent siege at all so i will make note of that in fact i don't see a single siege in the attack <laughs> i just see a bunch of other troops so uh, i'll definitely have to attack and let's see what ricky did here so Ricky sent, uh, he sent last time no layers, or he sent layers, but only of the one troop type. But at least he does have Siege in here, even if it's only 450 T13s and nine T9s. But you know what? He might be dead at this point. He did get killed early, so I don't want to be too hard on him. I did instruct everybody, you know what? Just, just hit, just join the rally. I, I'm not picky on what you join with. Let's focus on just joining. So here we sent some archers at uh, big guy here and he had a lot of reins so let's look what he had for mounted horse hp 1245 and ground and horse reinforcements but we didn't get them so what did we kill on the main guy we killed all his 15 horses and a little bit of the 14 horse and that's about where we left off but we sent seven people and let's see ricky yeah so he was ghost he's you know again ground all good you know just fill just fill my rallies just help that's what i want this was the one we just looked at and here this was this was a solo i did so we got to the point where um we ran out of rally troops and I basically said, look, I'm just gonna do what I can, get some points. Cause one of the things that I really wanted to make sure was, uh, I wanted to make sure that we got that uh, a high score, just so that in the future, like all stars, that sort of stuff, right? Like you want your team to qualify. And even if you lose, you want a high enough score. So that's been a problem on this server. I finished in the top 120 twice for BOG wings and both those times uh, I had a week didn't count. So that's on three weeks score only. 
and because we couldn't get enough points we lost and our point total didn't count so that sucks so yeah so that is a big thing even if you lose you want your point total to count because you want people to be able to achieve stuff i want to help people get one to three i want to help people get all stars that's one of the main reasons why some of these guys came over so we had four people in all stars last season and the other alliance that was at the top had zero and then two smaller alliances had one each and i basically have just been talking to people and just being like hey like what do you play the game for just to kill monsters like don't you want to make all-stars don't you want to have a good shallans team like these are the things that make the game worth it and make it fun right something to look forward to something to strive for and build towards so hopefully uh you know we can build on something so it looks like we got someone farming on our server okay so this is a uh, Whatever, they do that all the time, small guy. But uh, we're playing against this guy, Hippo. If any of you heard of him, I'm sure some people have. He is big. I've scouted him. Uh, 36 billion. Let's see if I can pull up the scout report really quick. So should be scouted uh, right around here. It should be. And right here. So I went over, scouted him. He was down and uh, very big boy. 10, bi 10 to 15 billion of each T15 and 40 million T11 is a big guy and then T1s he's got a few you know nothing it's not uh it doesn't match what he has but he like in terms of the same percentage or ratio because he has more troops than most uh, people who have 200 million horse but he you know similar amount to what other people have and then if you look at his buffs like these are nice 2165 siege attack before it's active so there's some there's some uh, stats in military academy when you attack someone it adds on but on a scout report you won't see it so this guy's probably like 2350 and his horse HP is probably right around 1580, 1590, something like that, once it goes active. But uh, yeah, so I had someone just scout the throne there because, uh, you know, we don't want to let him just close it. And luckily, it's not his troops in there. It's just these. But I'm sure he's sitting there ready to pounce and uh, get whoever comes over. Or he's just there for intimidation and logged off. But uh Let's see what happens if he sits like this all server, all server war. But uh, maybe if they cap theirs, they're coming for ours. I don't know. But uh, anyways, let me know what you guys look for in Battlefield reports. Uh, I basically told our guys, like, look, I thought we played really well, uh, even though we lost. But the important thing was we joined. And I actually noticed people tapped speed to join. So we were filling in five or six seconds, which was nice. And... We were actually waiting till someone joined a rally and then we'd counter on one guy. So little tactics like that that, you know, we can build upon. And actually, you know, it was really good. At one point, we actually had the other team down to zero teleports. So big props to our building guys. And that's important. The problem was we were out of troops at that point. So we couldn't capitalize on it that they had zero teleports. But things going forward that I told them, like, look, we have to get on a voice call more than just two of us because me and him were like he's like oh archers yeah boom he's in all the time and then everyone else like they have to wait and the problem was also was i wanted to do some little fakes like set siege on this guy and archer on this guy but those are things that are really hard to do without a voice call so if you're in an alliance that doesn't have a voice call you got to get one it's just uh you can't compete against people who don't have it or pe against people who are using it if you don't have it. So anyways, Genghis, uh, good luck in SVS. And uh, I'll just show you my score really quickly. And then uh, and then we'll get out of here. So I'm in third with 270. I got lucky with a couple hits. And uh, negatives are really good. Three, four, four million. So about as good as it gets. But obviously I want to get that 540 and... Uh, if I can't find it, I don't know. I might have to take a strike at this guy because that blood of theirs is, you know, there's only so many ways to get it. Anyways, Genghis, like, subscribe, leave a comment.